Hey what's up guys, it's Caitlin, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to make a custom background template for Roblox. So you're first going to want to open up paint.net and you're going to want to open up this file. So I created this file a long time ago, I'll just leave a link to it in the description below. Um, it's just a template to make the background. It's somewhere in here. There it is, okay. So all it really is, is just the template with where you're supposed to put the clothes. That area is green, and then um, two pixels outlined all around that. So the way you're going to use this is you're going to want to go find some design that you want to be the background. So I'm of course heading over to Pinterest, and I've saved tons of things, so let's see what I can find. I was thinking of doing some kind of cactus thing like this. This one's really cute. I'll, do, I'll use this one. So you're going to want to copy the image. And then go back to paint.net, add a new layer, and put that layer underneath the green template thingy. So then you're just going to want to paste in your design, or your, yeah, I guess your design and just resize it, move it around however you'd like. Uh, let's say this is decent. Okay. And then I normally like to add my username to it. So you can do that. Actually, I'll just add... I have like saved usernames that I use for the background. Um, who's this one? All you really need to do is just add a new layer over the background design and then just get the text tool and then you can just go in and type your username. You can use some fancy font and then just resize it. Oh shoot, that's big. <laughs> um, I can just do this one. I really do not care. Okay, yeah. So you can just put your username anywhere you'd like. Just don't put it behind the green because then you won't be able to see it. So I'm just going to paste in a th thing that I always use. And then I will just change the transparency a bit. Okay. Now once you have that, you're going to want to add everything to one layer, but leave the background, the um, green part, its own layer. So like if I add, if I have all these other layers, you're going to want to add all of these together and just leave the green one by itself. So just merge all the layers, then you have this, and what you're going to do is you're going to take the magic wand tool, and you're going to want to be on the layer with the green. You're going to hold shift on your keyboard and click on the green. That's going to select all the green on here. And then you're going to go to your other layer and just click delete on your keyboard. And now you can either just be done like that or if you want to have the black borders you just need to go in to the green layer, hold shift once again, select the green, and still on the green layer just hit delete and then you have it. And then you can just add your clothes underneath. Oh, you're probably going to want to merge the layers. So you could just save that. And then... Sorry, I am an organization freak, but sometimes I forget where things are. <laughs> so then whenever you want to design clothes, you can just pull up this template and you already have it and it's super cute. You can always find me on Twitter and send me your template and I'll give you my feedback and maybe even a shout out. So that's basically it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe and leave a like. See ya.